Hey guys, in this lab I'm going to talk about HTTP2 request smuggling via CRLF injection and in this lab I managed to solve it without the CRLF which made me confused because I thought we have to use it in order to bypass its restriction um, so I will show you the two ways the intended way and the unintended one so let's access the lab First of all, make sure that the Foxy Quarks is on. Let's use the functionality of the site. You can see that this is a special functionality, uh, which seems to create a list. Let's take a look at the traffic. Okay. Send it into the repeater. All right. Um, Okay, so until now everything is works just fine. Uh, we will try to make use of the downgrading of the HTTP2 into the HTTP1 uh, by using the CRLF. But first of all, I want to show you the unintended way. So let's go into the request headers and try to add a, a transfer encoding uh, and see what we are getting. Let's add a zero to get it into another one, another request on the backend, and then uh, which will generate another request. Uh, and let's create something that doesn't exist. Send. And as you can see, we are getting on the one time the 200 OK, and on the second time, which concatenating the another request, which doesn't exist, giving us the 404 not found. So it works. But the intended way, let's delete this. OK. Was to generate a cookie that uh, and header that doesn't exist. Uh, and then create a value that doesn't exist by using the CRLF we will be able to add another cookie uh, another header and on this header we will add the transfer encoding but as you saw before we don't have to use that uh, to do that so we I think the lab should be fixed so it won't be able to use the to add the header transfer encoding and then in order to bypass this restriction to use this trick here with the CRLF. Let's add this. Okay, and try again. And we get the same functionality as we had before without this trick. Okay, and then the intended way, now we will move on in the intended way because it's the same for both, uh, both ways. We will go into the proxy and to make it easier we will make use of the cookie and the host and the host method so let's just copy it into the repeater change it into http method uh, http one instead of two in, in the protocol um, we will have to use also the content length so let's use a long one uh, everything is uh, uh, a long one, I mean, in order to get the, the session of the victim. Uh, okay. Because long is relative, but uh, yes. Okay, so content length, let's make use of 1000 and search for M. Okay, let's send it and reload the page. You are getting the post request, so let's try again in order to get the get request of the victim. Invalid request. Okay, so we are getting the get request of the victim, and the session of him is here. Let's copy it. 
going into a get request, send it to repeater, and use the session cookie we found. And now we are logging in into as another user, and this is uh, supposed to solve the lab. And as you can see, this is a solve the lab. Okay. 